where we are in what appears to be a non-prudent and wasteful expenditure, the Vihiga County Assembly incurred a 74 million shillings bill on what the Auditor General terms as unnecessary travel expenses. According to the report delivered to the Senate Public Accounts Committee, the MCA spent 16 million shillings on a trip to Uganda to discuss devolution matters, never mind that Uganda does not have a devolved government. The MCA has also spent a further 23 million shillings on a trip to Israel to study the best agricultural practices for implementation. That's not all. They also went to Singapore on an 18 million shillings budget to attend a workshop on integrated infrastructural development. That trip was sponsored by a school and only 10 MCAs were invited, but all the 50 of them were paid per DMs for the travel. Uganda was never a point of reference. <laughs> when it comes to drafting the articles relating to devolution. Uganda was never. So why go to a country which has no devolution? <laughs> has no devolution. It was never a point of reference for devolution. They said that time, the clerk could just tell us, all members bring your passports, there is an international trip. So he was not telling us the, the, the invitation letter, and if you, you, you tend to ask the invitation letter, you'll be left, le, le, left behind. <laughs> <laughs> the list doesn't end there. The MCAs also took a trip to Tanzania, mounting to 13 million shillings to learn the operations of parliament. The trip coming just before another one to South Africa, which cost 3 million shillings for the benchmarking with the county. The same thing that was allegedly done in Uganda earlier. Why did you have to go to Tanzania to, start to learn the operation of parliament? Whereas... Uh, the parliament of the Republic of Kenya is one of the most vibrant parliaments you can ever have in the world. Why not come here? Why go to the Republic of Tanzania? Amidst the questions, another revelation came up. The Senate Public Accounts and Investment Committee discovered it had been questioning the wrong person for hours. Basic honesty, basic honesty, it requires that even the first time when you entered this committee and took that seat, you should have made full disclosure that, that, that you are on suspension, that you are not the speaker of the County Assembly of Vihiga. The other interesting issue is the circumstances surrounding the speaker's suspension. An institution called the Assembly has suspended you. So you need to tell the cameras and the public and us that no, you did not go to Seychelles for a wedding at, after being paid. The Auditor General has recommended that the excessive per DMs be recovered from the payees, including the whole payments to Uganda. The Senate Public Accounts and Investments Committee continues its sittings on Tuesday to continue questioning the county executives on the county expenditure. Now, should they find reason to believe that the money was squandered, then they would remove the file to the EACC. And should the EACC find more evidence of the money having been wasted, then the file will be moved to the DPP to institute legal proceedings. Trevor Ombija, NTV.